Hello, this is Wampire. For today's lesson, we're going to be working on some basics with double sticks. Uh, in this video, I'll be using double sticks, but if you don't have double sticks, you could substitute with just about anything. You could be using coat hangers, you could be using a training knife. Uh, right hand and left hand don't have to be holding the exact same item. So please keep that in mind and uh, let's start off right away. Uh, the first thing is we're going to start off standing square okay just to simplify things for right now stand square and we're going to park the weapons right here in an open stance is what we call this and just park it right up here and then from here um i think one of the key points is have you see how my weapons are out splayed out this way you don't want it this way okay because they'll they hit each other so have it get in the habit of like this having the weapons splayed out this way so from here we're going to do the basic form let me kind of be at this angle it might be easier for you guys to follow so right hand goes first and i'm just going to do a basic form diagonal down diagonal down horizontal horizontal and then stab and then you park it back up here and same thing with the left hand left hand goes diagonal down diagonal down horizontal horizontal stab and then park and then i switch one two three four it's just five movements this is a basic five angles of attack always start from the outside coming inside so from here i'm gonna go diagonal down diagonal down and now the horizontal movements start from the outside horizontal horizontal and then stab and then just go one two three four five switch one two three four five key point here is after you stab right here as this is parking as you're gonna park this right back here that launches the other hand so as i'm parking boom one two three four stab right here and as i park as this comes back this launches forward so the right hand's coming back right now to park then the left hand immediately does my diagonal down, diagonal down, horizontal, horizontal, stab, as it returns, boom. So this way you connect the motions together, all right? Uh, so now let's, uh, let's move on. And the next thing is, uh, like I said, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, what you have in your right hand and what you have in your left hand may not be the same. So they might have different properties. There, something in your right hand may be able to cut better something in the left hand may be a blunt weapon so we want to be able to uh, uh, maximize that so I'm going to show you a different form right now uh, we're just going to go back to the same thing just same stance starting stance like this sticks splayed out and uh, just stand square for now and we're just going to go diagonal down and then come back up the way you came and now we're going to do diagonal upwards and come back down the way you came and then stack so once again it's five movements one more time one two three four and then five and then park one two three four and then five and then park so this one is a little bit better for like a bladed weapon so one more time and diagonal down and then diagonal right back the way you came and then diagonal upwards from the other side and then diagonal down just the way you came and then you stab and then same idea as you park the stab you can start to incorporate now it launches the other hand diagonal down diagonal back up and then going diagonal up from the other side right here diagonal back down the way you came and then stab and as you park it launches the other hand one two three four five as i park boom one two three four and five now uh this is where it gets a little bit tricky what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the two different forms the first form and the second form i showed you so the right hand why don't we go ahead and um, do the the first form which is the diagonal diagonal horizontal horizontal stab as it goes to park we're gonna the second hand the left hand is gonna go ahead and do the slashing form one two three four and five and as this goes to park we go back to 
diagonal, diagonal, horizontal, horizontal, stab, the first form. So technically what we're doing here is the right hand is doing a completely different form from the left hand. And of course you could switch it up where uh, the left hand is gonna do the first form and the right hand is gonna do the second form. All right, so last but not least, what we're gonna do is try to make this a little bit more realistic, a little bit more uh, combative. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a fighting stance like this where one side is to the front and the other side is to the back instead of just standing square like this where you're even. So right here, the right side is now to the front and from here, same starting position like this, okay? So from here, you're just gonna go one, two, three, four, and five, which is what you guys have been doing. And then this is the key. As this comes back, this, this, uh, the left hand goes, right? It's almost like as I'm parking, the left hand gets the green light to go. But when that happens, I have to switch my feet because the left side is to the back right now, okay? So what I'm gonna do is as the left hand goes, I'm gonna just go ahead and take a step forward. And from here, so right now my right side is to the front and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then right here, boom, the left side takes a step forward and now I could go one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see, now the left side is to the front, okay? So let's compare that to boxing. What's different about that to boxing is that in boxing, like let's say you start off orthodox, so left hand is to the front, okay? So you have your jab, you have your hook, uppercut, okay, whatever. So you're, you're attacking from the left side, all right? And then the moment the right side comes in, that's, that's gonna be your cross, let's say. So we're, what we're doing here is jab, jab, hook, and then right here, now the right cross comes in, okay? But if you notice, the right side is still to the back. So after I launch the cross, I'm still back here. The right hand is still back here. The left hand is still to the front right here. The difference with Eskrima here is what we're doing is after the combo over here with the left hand, the right hand now takes charge and now the right hand is in the front. So after the cross, boom, I actually switch. So now the right hand is now doing the jab and the hook and then the left hand is now the cross and of course, when I launch the left hand, boom, the left side is to the front. So that's what makes the screamer a little bit more different. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.